Hi, I'm Karthik. I'm a web developer and the founder of WPAlgorithm.com. In this tutorial, I'll talk about WPML version 4.5, which basically lets you translate your entire website automatically just with few clicks. And the feature that we're going to talk about is called Translate Everything. Now, WPML is one of the most popular and powerful translation plugins out there for WordPress. If you don't have it, you can get it from the link in the description. That'll help me earn a small commission and support the channel if you're getting it from the link in the description. Highly appreciated. Let's see and you'll be amazed by what WPML can do just with a few clicks. Stay tuned. Click on the first link in the description and you'll be taken to this page. Now, there are three plans, multilingual blog, multilingual CMS and agency. I recommend getting at least multilingual CMS because it has page builder support. It can translate custom fields and so much more that we usually use. So click on buy now and purchase the multilingual CMS and proceed with the checkout process. And once you've done purchasing WPML from the link in the description, that will actually help me earn a small commission, which will in turn help me make more videos like this for free. You can click on your downloads section and you can choose stable channel over here. And starting with WPML 4.5, there'll be three plugins. So these are the three main components that you need to proceed with automatic translation on your WordPress website. So just download them by clicking on this arrow on each of the plugins. Once you've downloaded the plugins, go to your WordPress dashboard, click on plugins, click on add new, and you just need to upload all the three plugins that you've downloaded from your dashboard. So I'll just click on upload plugin. I'll just click on choose file, click on choose file, and I'll choose the first plugin, which is SitePress Multilingual. Click on upload and I'll just click on install now. We need to repeat the process for the other two plugins. I'll again click on go to plugin installer. We'll activate all three plugins at once. So I'll click on upload plugin. Again, repeat the process. This time for the second one. Upload. Install now. Again, I'll click on go to plugin installer. Do the same with the third plugin. Click on upload. Install now. I'll just click on go to plugin installer. Now we just need to install or we need to activate all the three plugins. So I'll just click on install plugins at the left hand side of my dashboard. Scroll down, check these three boxes. All right. And scroll up, click on bulk actions, click on activate and click on apply. And that's going to take us to the setup wizard. So it gives us a button saying configure WPML. Just click that and this is the WPML setup wizard. We need to follow it step by step. Now it asks me the default language. Basically, this is the language website is built and my website is basically built in English. As you can see, this is the home page. This is the blog page, contact us page and so on, right? We have a ton of pages and the translation languages. You can click on the plus button. I know Hindi personally because Hindi is the national language of India. So I can simply click Hindi from here. I don't really know any other languages. I don't know Thai or anything, but you can pick the languages that you want to translate your website in. I'll just pick Hindi for now. You can always pick multiple languages. So you can pick multiple languages like that. I just picked Hindi. So I'll just click on continue. And it's basically going to ask us the URL format. So as you can see, my website is usually wpdigitalalgorithm.com, but the Hindi version will be in this URL, which is recommended. So you can pick this. It's also good for SEO because it gives a better context for search engines to understand. So I'll just leave it at the default. I'll click on continue. You need to get the site key from your WPML dashboard and paste it. I'll just go ahead and do that. So you can simply click on get a key for this site and it's going to show an option to pick production site or development site. Um, since we're going to develop this site, you can pick development site. I'll just click on continue and I'm actually beta testing this plugin. So it's going to add some automatic credits for me to test it out. By the time you download it, you'll have 
the credits based on the type of plan you have. You can click on continue and it's gonna show us the key. Just need to copy the key, come back to your site and paste it. And once you paste it, just like that it shows thank you for registering WPML on this site. So click on continue and this is a brand new option starting with WPML 4.5. It's going to show you an option to translate everything, right? And once you pick translate everything, you can choose what happens once the plugin automatically translates everything on your site. So you can review the translations before publishing. You can publish them and review them later. But usually it's a good idea to review them before publishing. So I'll just leave it at the default and I'll just click on continue. And of course, you can send them information or you you can simply ignore it it's totally up to you click on continue you can simply skip this and it's going to finish installation of the site just wait for it and click on the finish button and another cool feature with WPML 4.5 automatic translation or translate everything is that whenever you compose a new post or publish a new page it's automatically going to translate that for everything on your page now it gives us a dashboard saying your site is being translated it may take a while based on the size of your website mine is a bit new so let's wait for it and we'll see what happens just wait for it and it's showing us it's calculating the number of translations i have 30,000 prepaid credits usually i don't think it's going to use all of them but we'll just wait and watch and we'll see what happens and it's going to scan all the posts pages and stuff like that and it's basically going to translate everything and this is the brand new dashboard that shows the automatic translation status you can also purchase the credits if your site is huge and if you want to do it automatically you can purchase credits and let WPML handle it for you now there's a message saying that a translations are waiting my review so I can simply click that and let's start reviewing each and every one of them so I'll just click on review it looks pretty good so I can say publish this translation so it's accepted it will automatically load the next translation publish that I can understand Hindi right Namuna post and whatever you can edit it in case you need to so I can simply click on edit translation if I wish to edit it right I can type in Hindi and stuff like that but usually this is pretty good and pretty readable so you can type in your Hindi language and stuff like that and I can simply click on complete and it will load the next translation most of it is accurate and if it's not you can simply click on edit translation and start editing some of the stuff enter the language right and all of it seems accurate I'll simply hit publish and this is actually the contact us form and it shows this as nam nam means name in Hindi and it has pretty much translated almost everything of it it hasn't translated this so let's try editing that so I'll just click on edit translation now on your computer this collab is translated as collab everything else is perfect but this is still in english i need to translate it so i just click on that and click on this and on your computer you need to enable hindi keyboard something that types the language that you're in right on a mac it's quite simple you can see all the languages you can add as many as you want i have a keyboard that translates hindi to its accurate or english to its accurate hindi counterpart so let's type collaboration in Hindi, right? Let's start with CO, that's collaboration. It's basically, you need to type it the way it's spelled, right? So it's something like that. I can simply double click that and this is the word. I can simply hit this enter mark. So that will be corrected. Now this translation is complete. If you want to change any other phrase or any other sentence, click that and change it. Type your Hindi word or whichever language it is and just click on complete and that translation 
is completed and it will pull up the next translation in queue. So that looks great. I'll hit publish and this looks perfect. I'll hit publish again and this whole thing looks great as well. So I'll just click publish again. If you find difficulty or if you think a page is not translated properly, you can simply click on edit translation and type in the source language. I'll just hit publish. And just like that, we have translated everything, pretty much everything, right? Now, if I visit my website, this is how it looks in English. Now scroll down. By default, the footer option is enabled. So if I click on Hindi language, pretty much close. We still have the home. It needs to be translated in Hindi. This donate no needs to be translated as well. And also the footer, it's not translated. So we need to translate that as well. So let's see how we can fix that. Also, we can actually have a language switcher based on our requirement. So I can simply click on languages, scroll down. Let's add a menu language switcher and it's main menu. You can pick last menu item. That will be it. You can show the flag for easier identification, right? So it'll look something like this. It'll look something like that. So that's pretty great. You can choose color theme, so whatever, and you can simply click on save and that's going to add the language switcher in the footer or in the menu item. So you can turn this off. Now, if I reload my website, I need to clear all the cache. Now I can see the language switcher in the header. If I change it to Hindi, I can simply click and change it to English just like that. Right. So it's really convenient to have a custom language switcher. Now, Automatic translation will translate most of your posts, pages, menus, and all the stuff on your site, right? But you need to fix things that are not actually translated using automatic translation. So as we saw, the menu, the main menu needs a bit of a correction, right? So main menu, let's type that. Let's change it properly in Hindi. Again, I'm using the English to Hindi keyboard on a Mac. You can actually copy and paste the text from anywhere. I'll type. So I just translated that. I can simply click on sync, click on synchronize changes and that will be applied, right? Let's again click on WP menu sync. So let's see how it looks in the Hindi version. So you can see that most of the strings even in here are translated, right? Even the post Naya means new in Hindi, right? edit translation it's still edit translation right but most of the stuff right kaise ho how howdy right kaise ho means how you doing right that's what is being displayed in here again the kartik rajnala string is not translated but if you're really into that you can do that as well now i'll go back to dashboard again we need to fix stuff that we think wpml didn't get it right i'll just click on main menu I'll just click on home. I need a Hindi translation. Home is called Ghar or let's replace home with start. All right. Now we do have that. That translation is saved. I need to purge all the cache, right? In case you're using a caching plugin, you need to purge all the cache. Let's see that again. Let's apply changes, right? Let's purge cache again and that must be synchronized. Let's visit our website. And just like that, now the home is replaced with start in Hindi, right? This is the language that I speak. You can try the same with the language that you speak. Or if you need help, you can take a help from people that are actually speaking that language. If you're translating it to French, maybe you can ask a French volunteer to help you assist in this automatic translation process just to see if everything is intact, right? Most of the stuff will be intact. Again, I'll go back to dashboard, again, WP ML. And the WP menu sync fixed the menus stuff. You can click on string translation. And in case you want to add, you can also change the URL, but I'll just leave it as is, right? I don't want to change the label of the URL, right? I'll just leave it as is. You can click on taxonomy translation to translate different categories and tags. So I'll pick category. So uncategorized, 
you can click here you can change it maybe you can type it you can also have different media for different languages so you can click this pencil icon you can click on use a different file for hindi you can have a different image but it doesn't make any sense again you can change the name in here right and you can change the name so something like that and click on save translation right you can scan and replace and again purge all the cache and if you view it hindi and that's how you translate everything using again if you have any left out strings again you can go back to wpml and play with different options you can also change different settings in wpml i'll go to theme builder i'll just click on this and it will send all the text within the elementor footer to translation you can do the same with header but since my header only had the menu and the menu was translated automatically it was not a problem but the footer had a lot of unordered lists i just clicked on this plus button it will send to translation and it will deduct the number of translation credits just wait for some time and that should work so i just went to theme builder and queued the foot you can do the same with any components you have within the elementor interface so again i just clicked on the plus and it translated automatically i can click on this i icon scroll down and just like that now my footer is completely fine it's completely in hindi translated everything so i can simply hit publish this translation and just like that our elementor footer if you want to do the same with header you can click this plus button it will send it send the translation again automatic translation you have to do nothing right you can do the same for pages posts let's create a new post and let's see if the automatic translation works right okay let me change the keyboard back to normal english because it's typing in let me pick some lipsum i'll publish this also before publishing i'll go back to my dashboard to my wpml dashboard just to see the credits right now i have 25278 credits it says everything is translated and i have these many credits left that's totally fine now let me publish this page publish it and i'll just click the wordpress dashboard and you can see that as soon as as published the post it's automatically queued up right and you can see that in here and give it some time and it just works so for any new content page post custom post type or even a new menu item or anything that you change in elementor it is automatically queued if it is not queued you can just go to that individual item if it's a theme builder template you can go to theme builder if it's a custom post if you can go to that and it's basically showing the reviews done you don't have to go to individual item to see the review status you can view it from your wpml dashboard and it's showing me one more translation is left for review i'll just click that and let me click on review that will take us to this and this is the brand new page and it translated pretty much everything if you want to translate wpml to hindi as well you can click on edit translation i did that but i'm okay with it i'll just hit publish and just like that the translate everything feature works like charm it works like magic it translates elementor templates it translates everything on your website just with click of a button and if you want wpml i highly recommend it this is one of the best translation plugins if not the best translation plugins you can also add translators to your website right you can add a translation manager who can do all this stuff for you right he can review the stuff and he can publish it or add the translation right stuff like that you can also see the status of your automatic translation and that's wpml for you in a nutshell thank you so much for watching that's it for now check out the links in the description and check out wordpress tutorial for beginners playlist to learn each and everything about wordpress starting from scratch that's it for now i'll see you in any of the other videos bye bye